True, true. That's pretty Joel. Did Canada ban TikTok? I don't know. I haven't looked at the news today. I'm going to say yes, just because I think it would be funny to be right or wrong. You know what? Let's, let's throw a royal flycatcher out here. I don't know. It could. I don't think that too many people are running summoning teams, but if they are, it'll be funny. They banned it on government devices. Guy who only watches problematic news channels. Wait, I thought they were all government devices. <laughs> uh, I thought all, I, I thought the I, I guy who only um it's, and I it's such as okay no no nothing all right fair enough. I'm, wor I'm working on my my tight five. Here's my impression of every documentary on Netflix. It's just a town where like you said hello to people. Everyone knew each other. It was the perfect place to raise a family. But the idyllic exterior hid a dark reality that once manifested shook this town to its core. She just lit up the room. Anytime she walked into a room, you were like, there she is, there's Debbie. Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to work it again, I'm trying to work it. Here's my impression of the first one minute of every net, the first 10 seconds of every Netflix documentary about the worst murder in American history. We met at a bar and I was just coming, I'm sorry, I don't know where this is going. And we were so in love until one day. Like she was friends with everyone. Hang on, where am I going with this? Get this man out of the kitchen. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Keep in mind, I haven't told like any jokes in the last, uh, in the last few days. It's actually like traveling is so easy to be funny because you just like find someone in the airport who's doing something and then you go look at this guy. <laughs> Anybody else? Uh, a fan of observational humor, such as seeing someone in the airport do something that you wouldn't do, and then go and look at this idiot. <laughs>